happening in Rome? Well, there's plenty happening in Love's Flame. Thomas just told Pamela that his feet smell. That is not an investigation. Just stop fidgeting. This is the life. We've got air conditioning, soft beds, shoe and Love's Flame. It's heaven, right? <sighs> okay, if we must, you can have your investigation. Hit the city and play on the crime scene. Let's go. Demonic detectives? But I thought you hated it. I do, but if it stops your whining, I'm happy to play this useless game. It's really because you're useless at it. Well, do you want to play or not? <laughs> oh, why did I suggest this? On the crime scene, the temperature must be at least 8,000. <sighs> is an investigation, a real one. Uh, what's there to investigate? The Colosseum looks better finished, doesn't it? Of course not. The Colosseum is a World Heritage Site. You mustn't touch it, even to restore it. It's as if Santa shaved off his beard. Hmm? Or if Shumaloos were round. Hands off Shumaloos. They're square and they stay square. End of story. Well, it's the same for the Colosseum. It's a bit tumble down, but we have to leave it like that. Otherwise, we'd be swamped with round Shumaloos, and we can't allow that. Who put this big round thing in the middle of the road? Give yourself up or I'll get mad! Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just as I thought. Blocky block, building blocks. Wow. You'd have to be super skilled to complete the whole Colosseum in blocky blocks. And patience. Not everyone could do it, that's for sure. Hmm. A crime of such magnitude on a monument. I'll bet my ponytail that the great international villain is behind this. Well, I wouldn't bet my shumaloos. The great international villain steals monuments. He doesn't complete them. It's true that he wouldn't really need to complete the Colosseum. Well, seeing that it's not the great international villain, it's not worth investigating. We're not going to put ourselves out for a tiny national huh? villain, are we, Moret? Hey, show me that. No way. I made this with my own paws. If you're hot, you can just make one yourself. No, you noodle. It's not for me. It's for the investigation. The investigation. Always the investigation. Look, Shumaloo's behind you. Where, where? <laughs> uh, creating a diversion with Shumaloos is not in the rules. There's a Blocky Blocks competition being held tomorrow. The most incredible construction will be the winner. There's the motive. A Blocky Blocks fan wants to win by completing the Coliseum with Blocky Blocks. We just need to find that uh, fan. Moret, everyone plays with Blocky Blocks. We're not going to question everybody, are we? No, Potato Head. To complete the Coliseum, you need lots and lots of Blocky Blocks. So we have to look for a place where there are huge quantities of Blocky Blocks. There are about 40 stores that sell Blocky Blocks. Don't tell me we're going to check them all. When you buy such a huge quantity of toys, you can't carry them all very easily. So the store must have provided some big bags or boxes. And once they're empty, you have to dump them. Yes, and? <laughs> Yuck! I did not sign up for this, miss. I'm warning you, Moret. This is the sixth and last dumpster I am searching. Just remember that you're really just an alley cat. <laughs> what was that? The alley cat just found your clue. There's a Blocky Blocks logo on these boxes. And there's a whole bundle of boxes. Great. There's a name on them. Regina uh... Falange. She must be the person they were sent to. Regina Falange? Regina Falange was an artist who created sculptures from blocks of colored wood, the forerunners of Blocky Blocks. And she gave her name to the city's Blocky Blockers Club. OK, cat assistant, let's hit that club. Vittorio, is that you? Ciao, Miret. How are you? What have you done with John Pat? Well, he's just, uh, getting over his excitement. I'm investigating the completed Coliseum. So what are you doing here? Me? I've been a blocky blocker since forever. Look at my fantastic replica Vespa. With this, I'm bound to win the competition tomorrow. Well, I have to watch out for Freddy's giant dinosaur over there, but it should be OK. Blue blocky, size three. What about you? What are you making for the competition? <laughs> no, the junior club members don't enter. With big guys like Freddie and me, the club stands a better chance of winning. So this year, they're helping us. That's all. Oh, all right. And do you know if any boxes of Blocky Blocks went missing recently? Uh, I'm not sure. You need to check the storeroom. Blocky Red, size one. Hey, do you think you have time for a bathroom break two days before the competition? Nobody leaves the job. Come on, stay focused. Wow, you're great at this. Here, it's for you. What? Is that me? What do you mean great at this? It's a really good likeness. Thank 
cute. <laughs> Listen, I'm investigating the completed Colosseum, and I'd like to look in the storeroom. Can I? Sure, it's here. Hey, somebody stole nearly all our boxes. There were loads <gasps> on these shelves, and on those too. The boxes on the top shelf weren't stolen. Bizarre. Do you always sit next to the storeroom? Oh, yes, always. It's my place and I never leave it. I've even written Monica on the table of Flocky Block. And did you see anything unusual these last few days? Uh, no. It's strange that Monica didn't see anything given that she sits right next to the storeroom. I'm wondering if she didn't lie to me. She looked uncomfortable when I asked her if she noticed anything. Oh. You can't think she could have completed the Colosseum, can you? <laughs> no, it would have been way too hard for an itsy-bitsy kid like her. I'll tell you, I'm not even sure that I could do it. So you see, maybe she didn't do it by herself. Of course! Maybe she didn't do it by herself. Yeah, I just said that. What if she was helped by other blocky blockers from the club? Huh, why would club members do that? Hmm, the younger ones looked upset because they couldn't enter the contest. What if they're trying to prove that they can do as well, if not better, than the big guys? No. They're not upset. They're just seeking attention. That's all. Little kids are like that. And because they're little, they weren't able to steal the boxes from the top. Of course! And because they're little, they weren't able to steal the boxes from the top. That explains it. But we don't have sufficient evidence to accuse anyone. We have to catch the guilty party or parties red-handed. And I have a plan to do that. Oh, nice job. And now we're covering up crime. No, you potato head. We're not covering up the crime. We're wrecking it so the guilty parties will try to repair it. And to do that, they'll need more blocky blocks so they'll come and steal the ones left at the club. By we, you mean you and Vittorio? I thought he had to prepare for the competition. What? You mean you and me? Oh, no. Here's the plan. You do what you want, and I go back to the hotel, okay? Why do we never do what I say? But what's she doing? Huh? Huh? But who's that? And where's the other one? How can anyone change size in a few seconds? Let's see if there are any clues in the storeroom. These look like marks made by stilts. We'd have noticed if he had stilts on when he came in. Ugh, this investigation is driving me nuts. Monica, why did you leave just now? What? I didn't leave. I never leave my place. Oh, no? Well, then how did somebody steal the last box of the blocky box without you seeing them? Well, well, what could this be? A hair from Gigi. Monica, did you see a dog around here? Yes, that's twice that sweet little doggy has been here. He's so adorable. So I just went over to him to pet him and give him some shumos. Yeah, shumos for Gigi? Why did I have to hear this? You won't tell the big kids, will you? We promise. Great international villain used Gigi to create a diversion and to steal the blocky box. I don't know why he completed the Coliseum, but he's certainly gonna try to steal it now. Monica, do you want to help me? Everybody understand? Let's go to work. Stop throwing paper balls at me. I'm not aiming at you. It's the Coliseum. Well, stop it anyway and help us. Don't you just want to toss paper balls into it? Or any sort of balls? Better still, golf balls, if you see what I mean. <gasps> of course. You hit it, John Pat. The great international villain must have completed the Coliseum so it could become the last hole of his golf course. Huh. You see, I am helping. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Mirette, under my feet yet again. It's too late. I'm off with the Coliseum. Well, now that would surprise me, great international villain. <laughs> she drives me mad. I'll be back, Mirette, and I shall get my revenge. Yes, you'll be back, all right, and sooner than you think. You must have eaten too many shumaloos, Gigi. Ha-ha! <laughs> Who's the winner this time? I am! <laughs> I can't get pot pie! <laughs> Whoa. Uh, oh. My big, cushy, life-saving butt! Oh, how I love you! <sighs> that orange cat, I knew it! <sighs> John Pat, you don't have to eat the whole
whole packet, you know. Do you want me to fall through the rungs the next time? I need to keep my life belt in condition. Hmm. By the way, I'm sorry you lost the competition, Vittorio. Better luck next time. You bet. I can't lose twice in a row, and I'm happy the little kids won. Even if they did enter behind our backs, their giant Vittorio was fantastic. <laughs> <laughs>